the parts of my handgun, let me first discuss the basic parts of a handgun wherein all modern handguns have three basic groups of parts. There are action, frame, and barrel. Action, the action also known as the trigger group, contains the parts that fire the cartridges. Several types of actions are used in modern handguns. Frame, the frame is a metal housing that also serves as the handle or grip of the handgun. All other parts are contained within it or connected to it. Lastly is the barrel. The barrel is the metal tube that the bullet travels through. The handgun barrel is much shorter than a rifle or shotgun barrel because the gun is designed to be shot while being held with one or two hands rather than being placed against the shooter's shoulder. Did you know that repeating handguns such as revolvers and semi-automatic pistols hold more than one round of ammunition? A revolver uses a cylinder to store the ammunition and a semi-automatic pistol uses a removable magazine that fits in the grip. The magazine functions by moving the cartridges stored within it into a position where they may be loaded into the barrel chamber by the action of the firearm. Its importance is that it is where ammunition is stored and it is also the feeding device within or attached to a repeating firearm. The grip is the portion of the mechanism that is held by the hand and orients the hand in a forward, vertical orientation and similar to the position one would take with a conventional pistol. Its importance is that it stabilizes the firearm in operation wherein it is generally used by the hand that operates the trigger. A rear sight mounted perpendicular to the line of a sight and a front sight that is a post, bead, ramp, or a ring to measure the target accurately. The slide is the part on a majority of semi-automatic pistols that moves during the operating cycle and generally houses the firing pin or striker and the extractor and serves as the bolt carrier group. Its importance is that it automatically cocks the hammer or striker which is an important function of double action or single action pistols. However, some semi-auto pistols are double action only and have no sear notch for single action operation. The barrel is the metal tube that the bullet travels through. It is important because the handgun barrel is much shorter than a rifle wherein it can be shot while being held with one or two hands rather than being placed against the shooter's shoulder. The model is intended to redirect a portion of propellant gases to counter recoil and unwanted muzzle rise. It is important because it can help control the recoil and the rising of the barrel that normally occurs after firing. A trigger guard is a loop surrounding the trigger of a firearm and protecting it from accidental discharge. It is important because in some cases, it may remove or reposition as not to impair use with large cold weather gloves on, especially those intended to be used in arctic conditions. The trigger is a mechanism that actuates the firing sequence of a firearm, air gun, crossbow, or spear gun. Its importance is that it initiates the firing of a cartridge seated within the gun barrel chamber. The magazine release allows the magazine to be separated from the firearm. It is important because it locks the magazine in position for feeding cartridges into the chamber of the firearm. 